A man has been arrested and charged with murdering and dismembering his ex-girlfriend after she threatened to cut off his balls. The incident occurred in the early morning hours of the 18th of February 2022, located at the Willows apartment complex along 426 South Springfield Road in Clifton Heights, Pennsylvania. Residents at the complex awoke to horrific screams and banging noises, followed by silence, then rustling of plastic, and then soaring and hacking sounds. Police received calls from concerned residents at just before 4.45am, and within minutes the police had arrived at the complex. The officers approached the front door of the apartment and knocked, however there was no response. Officers noticed a light coming from the side of the building, and walked around and peered through the bedroom window, where they met with a gruesome scene. They observed a man sitting on a bed, hacking at a woman's left leg with a machete, with rolls of plastic nearby. In the process, they noticed the victim's head lying on the floor next to her body. The officers returned to the front door and kicked it down, and demanded the man not move as he was being arrested. The man was identified as 32-year-old Nicholas Peter Scurrier. As he was being led to the squad car, he repeatedly said that she tried to cut his balls off. He told investigators that he still lived with the victim, though their relationship had ended. He explained that while they were arguing, he knocked her unconscious and repeatedly punched her in the head. He then said he attempted to get rid of the evidence by dismembering various parts of her body. Police recovered multiple weapons from inside the apartment. Police did not release the victim's name, who was said to be in her 50s. District Attorney Jack Stolsteimer said, This horrific murder is a sad reminder of the threat many women face on a daily basis. Based on the defendant's statement at the time of his arrest, in response to what the defendant perceived as a threat to his masculinity, he brutally killed and then dismembered his victim. His actions were cowardly as well as evil, and he'll be prosecuted to the full extent of the law.